For now, the fourth night in a row, hundreds of protesters have taken to the streets of Las Vegas. Thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. The protest, of course, in the light of the police custody death of George Floyd in Minnesota. Now, earlier tonight, Metro and SWAT dispatched tear gas and rubble, rubber bullets on protesters. And now there are reports of looting both on the Las Vegas Strip and near the downtown area and the premium outlet shopping center. We are we are tracking all of it tonight with team coverage. Sasha Loftus is near the Premium Outlet Mall, and Sally Jaramillo and Orco Mana spent most of the evening on the Las Vegas Strip. We begin our coverage tonight with Orco. Well, Denise and Brian, what started as a peaceful protest turned into a really tense night here on the Las Vegas Strip. There's still a really heavy police presence here. You can see some Metro squad cars as well as officers here at this intersection. It's calm now, but again, things got pretty heated just a couple hours ago. We saw this huge plume of tear gas at an intersection close to the Mandalay Bay. Protesters were running away from the area, trying to get away from the chaos. They tell us Metro officers were firing that tear gas as well as rubber bullets into the crowd when tension started to rise. We also saw Metro SWAT team out in full force. SWAT officers were in tactical gear, and we even witnessed one person get taken into custody. Again, a very different situation compared to what we saw earlier. A large group of protesters peacefully marched up and down the strip. They held signs and chanted things such as Black Lives Matter and George Floyd, of course, the name of the Minneapolis man who died in police custody, which really sparked these demonstrations. One protester, one protester explained to us why he took to the streets tonight. There's a cycle in the United States where we go from one news cycle to another and a tragedy befalls us and then we don't want to politicize it. It's too soon to talk about, but then something else comes along that dominates the news cycle and we never get back to the question. And today, the question is, are black lives deserving of the dignity that the rest of America so naturally enjoys and takes uh, for granted? I believe that it is, and I'm out here protesting. That peaceful protest started to get a little more tense as night fell. Metro police again deploying tear gas and pepper bullets into the crowd. Everything is much calmer now. Every now and then we do see some metro cars in the area drive, drive by with some sirens. But again, it looks like at least where we are, protesters have dispersed. Reporting live from the Las Vegas Strip tonight, Orca Mana, 8 News Now.